Welcome to this Unity tutorial on creating a level selection. In this video, we'll be walking through the steps to add 10 level selection buttons inside an image using a grid. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to create a polished and functional level selection screen for your game. So whether you are a beginner or an experienced Unity developer, this tutorial is for you. Let's get started and create an awesome level selection screen for your game. In the hierarchy window, we need to create some UI elements. Add UI image as a background and Text Mesh Pro as a title. Then add a new image which will be the background of level buttons. With the image selected, click Add Component to add a grid layout group. This will allow us to arrange the level selection buttons in a grid. Then we will create a new button as a child of the image and assign a source image to it. With the button selected, set the text property to empty. This will ensure that no text is displayed on the button. Then, create an image that will represent the lock when the level is locked. Then, create an image that will represent the unlocked level. Select the prefabs folder and drag each one to become a prefab. Then delete both of them from the hierarchy. Then we create a script called Level Manager, which will be attached to Level Selection Game Object. Inside the script, we have got some cool variables like level buttons, lock, and done. These will hold our UI elements like buttons and images. Then there is a highest level variable, which is where we will keep track of the highest level the player has unlocked. In the start method, we begin by checking which level the player has unlocked using player prefs. Then we go through each button in the level selection array. If a button corresponds to a locked level, we disable it and show a lock image. For unlocked levels, we enable the button and display the level number with a cool done image. In the low level method, we take a level number and use scene manager to load the corresponding game level. To delete player progress using player prefs delete all. With each button selected, drag the level manager script component 
into onclick function then assign the load level and level number To grant players access to the next level upon entering the trigger, a couple of key players here. Index signify the current level. Name holds player progress, achieved, tracks completion, and level showcase level numbers. In the start method, the script fetches achieved data updating level to match the current level. When a player enters trigger, the script verifies if the current level is nearly completed. If it is, the level count rises, progress is saved, and the next level is unlocked. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up for more exciting tutorials. Thank you for watching.